Well, we're just about ready to go here in uh, what should be an intriguing game in conditions which may prove testing. There are plenty of talking points around this game, but not the least of them is the snow that we have had. There were concerns that it could cause the match to be called off. I'm glad to report that hasn't been the case. The pitch has been well cleared, but the conditions will certainly add an extra dimension to the competition. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. And that gets things running. Pugh. Angel Rangel. Beautifully done. That intervention was very necessary. Malone. There's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. This game is in need excitement. It needs help, and it's down to the creative and striking tap. Goes for goal! Another chance! it away Amos he's got options out wide And it's Pew. Over to the left. Oh, looks like he's been taken out there. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Wisdom. Played down the flank. Plenty waiting in the middle. Looks to dink one in. Cleared away. Cameron tries to get it forward quickly. In. <laughs> and 
And it's half-time here. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? It's been a pretty abject performance. No effort at goal. I'm struggling to remember it the last time we had that. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. So we're already into the second period. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Pew. Pew. He's off on a marauding run. Cut out in the nick of time. Hoists it forward. If you did take an extended half-time break, you'll be relieved to hear that you have missed nothing. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Malone. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, a chance! A real chance and a real let-off. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. <laughs> Time for a change in personnel. And it's played forward. Forward it goes. Receives it in a good position. Well, more than happy to take the muscular approach. That has put a stop to that. Huddleston. And it's Huddleston into the channel. Gets it into the middle. Tries to get it clear. Huddleston. And the ball's come out. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. And he's going to Rex. <laughs> They've played it short. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Pew. Cameron. Final seconds, this has to be it. 
Great strength, too strong for his opponent. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Hoists it forward. There's only one word for this, it's baffling. And there goes the final whistle. Uh, a frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. So, Jim, how do you...